Now this time we will create our own custom grid. All right. So let's go to the view. Let's scroll on the views from the grid. This one, right? Click here, clone page. Again for page grid. I think we put custom grid. Apply. Title. The same. Further down. Now for format, we use unformatted list, the normal one. Apply. I think we'll remove this one, the view row classes. To clean up a bit, for here, we use column for all the column. That's SM, that's 6. To show two columns on a small screen. And three columns on the medium and above. So let's click apply. Show. Let's choose fields. Apply. And remove this one. High empty fields. If there's nothing, apply. Let's scroll down to preview. Take a look here. So we have row. We have image read by a diff and we have tree, we have description. That's good. Check it out again. So make sure we use style settings here. We can use diff, we can give it a class to put image, right? And for the second one, same thing. We use has tree here. And a third one body and we use the div we're using a, a class called description dsc and we have um tree meet as well right okay that's great nothing much we need to do here let's change the path to custom grid all right apply menu Custom grid. So let's double check. Format. Good. Fuse. Out of fuse here. Change the path and menu. I think that's all. Let's save the views. Save. Okay. Let's click on custom grid. Double check. Scroll down. Now, as you can clearly see here, there's an equal height issue that causing these columns floating incorrectly. They don't align correctly, right? Now, we are going to install a module called Equal Heights jQuery to handle this. So let's head over to the module page. Scroll down. Before installing this module, you need to install libraries module as well and an images loader plugin. Now let's get it done. Library API. Scroll down. Let's install the module now. Copy the link back to our site. Module, install module. And install another module. This time we'll install equal heights. Scroll down, right click, copy a link, paste it here, and install. There's one more plugin we need to download before we enable the module. Alright, so let's go back again. Now let's open this in a new window. It says here, images loaded this plugin, version 3 is not compatible. Right. If you go to this link, click on images loaded.js. The current version at this time of recording, it should be 3.1.8. So it's version 3. It's not going to work correctly. What should we do now? Let's go to the module folder of this equal height. 
Let's open the README in this module to check it out. So let's go to Sites, All, Modules, look for Equal Height. Yes, open it and open readme.txt. Here it gives some instruction on how to install the module properly. Right? Now under installing required libraries manually, you say before installing Equal Heights module, you have to download images loaded plugin from here. There's a link given here. The version is version 2.1.2. .2, all right, so I'll copy this one. Now further down it says, you simply need two files. The dash should be copied to this folder. So let's download this plugin. So the current version that is support is 2.1.2. .2, so you can download this one, source code, zip file. I have already downloaded and unzipped the file. Please do the same. Now let's go to our Drupal folder. Let's go to Sites, All, Libraries. Now I have unzipped the file here, right? So go in. There's one more folder with the same name. Let's enter. All the files and content are here. Now one level up. Let's rename this to simply images loaded. Remove the version and let's copy this one out back to a library's root folder. Paste it here and this one we no longer need it. Delete it. So let's check the structure again. Libraries. We have images loaded and all the files and content are here. Now let's go back to our Drupal site to enable the module. Let's enable newly added module just now, where we installed. Okay, look for library. Turn on libraries module as well as equal height. Save. You can go to the configuration page from here. Or we just copy or D equal. Now here you can specify the class or tag of the element and also the media query. So let's add one and see. For this one, I will use dot. Remember, you have to use with a period. Equal height. You can put any class as you wish, but you must remember this name. All right. You can also combine the multiple selectors as mentioned here. So do read through all this instruction. And you can also learn more about this plugin. You can open. All right. So read through all this instruction carefully. So for media query here, one media query per row. I'll copy this one. Put it here. Since we are using Bootstrap, we're using 768. That means this equal height will work on the minimum width 768 and above. All right. Anything that is below. There's no equal height will be applied to. Alright, so you can specify the minimum height and maximum height. You can try it out yourself. Alright, so I will keep everything as it is except this two. Alright, so I save the configuration. Now, let's go back to our views. Let's go to home. These two menus, let's put under articles first. Let's go to structure, menus, main menu. Let's put it here and save. Great. Let's go to articles, custom grid. Scroll down. Okay, fine. Let's go to view. Now this time, click settings. Let's add one more class here, but row equal height. The same class name that we entered just now in the configuration page. It has to be the same, alright? So we apply and save. Scroll down. Great. It works. That's nice. This is a little thing we can fix it. 
scroll up. Let's check, uh, inspect the element and see. Any screen that is 768 and above, you will apply the equal height. All right. And you can see the height is been changing as we resize the browser, right? Okay. And anything below 768, there's no height applied as we expected. There's no need height at all when there is a 100% width or one column per row. Let's close this and fix a little bit for this pagination. Let's inspect element. You can either target view content or text center. So we'll target this one view content. And what should we give it? Let's see. I think we give it overflow hidden. That will solve the problem of the flow thing. Yes. If you open, you'll find all these are actually a float to left. That's why if you give a outer diff a overflow, this can solve the problem of floating issue. So we'll target this page only. That is page article custom grid. If you want to target all the article views, then you can target page article, but I will do it more specifically for this. So I copy this one. All right. So go to our text editor. Let's close it. Scroll down. Let's go to themes. Bootstrap sub theme and CSS. Okay. I'll remove all this. Article, custom, greet, All right? Dot view dash content. Overflow, hidden, All right? And save it. Let's go back to our site. Close this one and refresh. Yep, that's great. Okay, I think that's all for our custom grid. Maybe we can add a margin bottom to each column. Let's go back to our text editor and do a bit more works. I'll copy this one, I'll patch it here. Dot co. Since we are given a class called co to each column margin dash bottom we can give a 20 pixel perhaps save it check it out yeah let's look better so let's resize the browser double check again three columns for the medium screen and above and on a small screen you have two columns that's nice okay so let's proceed to the next